we are going to start off with a little bit of universe mode, because I have not done that in a while. I don't think. I don't think I did it last stream. I think I just did some casual matches last stream, so... Gonna do some universe mode, and then continue the career of Master Me Castle, as usual. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's see. What we got for the news? Uh, I think we had a pay-per-view not too long ago, which is why we got all the title win shit. So, yeah. Alright. Who are my number one contenders? Uh, number one contender is fucking Bray Wyatt to the title. To the World Heavyweight title. U.S. is Kofi Kingston. The Brotherhood, uh, Goldust and Cody Rhodes are the number one contenders to the tag titles. Naomi is still the fucking number one contender to fucking AJ Lee. And for the Intercontinental, it is Jay Uso, really? Huh. Right, let's do this. What do we got on Monday Night Raw? Apparently there was a, uh, they just auto started some rivalries. Uh, Seth Rollins and Triple H and Sheamus and Kofi Kingston got added to the rivalries along with the never-ending Wyatt Family Right Baxel feud. Uh, let's see, what do we got for the actual matches? Swagger versus Dean Ambrose. Edge versus Kane. Kofi Kingston versus Fandango. Triple H versus Seth Rollins. And Right Baxel versus the Wyatts. And let's get it going. Oh, we're in Chicago. Prepare for all of the CM Punk chants. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring. From Terry Oklahoma. By the way, if anyone looks at a picture of Jack Swagger, does anyone, like, this cannot just be me. It, is it like, is it just me, or does Jack Swagger look like 1980s Biff Tannen for Back to the Future? Seriously, just fucking look at them side by side. Jack Swagger is Biff. You cannot tell me otherwise. Here comes Dean Ambrose. From Cincinnati, Ohio. Thanks for being on top of that, by the way, MJ. Yep, see, Raven, I fucking told you. The resemblance is uncanny, isn't it? Jack Swagger is Biff Tannen. I'm telling you, this is. It's not just me. They look so much fucking alike. All right, let's do it. Well, oh, Jack Swagger. What a decapitating lariat. There's the arrogance of the all-American. We the P Oh shit. I was doing my thing, Dean. Here we go. We the peoples. Oh fuck, Spinebuster. Jesus. Jack Swagger with a nice reversal. Ow. Narrowly avoids the attack there. There's another hard area. 
Lariats all day, every day. King of the Lariat is Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger establishing a deliberate. Oh, fuck. I mean, that punch animation is too slow. Jack Swagger making a move. Look at these two chocolate fuck. position. Here we go with Dean Ambrose. Okay, so who else is hyped for 2K16? It can't just be me. Sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, I know, right? Oh, I know. There's just gonna be no comparison. What a kick that was. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They they they've already said they're adding a lot of the stuff back. Uh, create a diva, create an arena, I think. Uh, create a show. Uh, all that shit's back in. So, and hopefully they have like all the actual parts for creator wrestlers too. What am I doing? I gotta start working the leg. Fuck. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make him tap out yet. I've hardly done any leg damage. I've just been doing lariats this whole match. Damn. Nope. Oh. He saw that one coming. Oof. Ow. And Swagger gets level. Oh, that Swagger is one big hoss to take down. I'll tell you that. Fuck. He's gonna sig. Fuck you. Damn it. Oh shit, blow over neck breaker, the greatest move in wrestling. What a reversal. Would you stop? I think one of the things fans all over the world share in common is they don't quite know what to fully expect from Dean Ambrose. They know Ambrose is a lethal entity here in the WWE, and they know he'll make any doubters a believer in him and the Shield. Look at this, it's locked in. Look at him trying to use all the strength and power he can muster to escape this. I guess he's done with that move. Yeah, but what's he gonna do? Yeah! This? Fuck. He anticipated that move perfectly. Fuck you! Boom! It's over. It's done. Tap out time! Got it! Now, Jerry Lawler's fucking commentary just got cut off there. Why even start the soundbite if the match was over?
I don't understand. Oh, and also, like, the only highlight I think was the fucking ankle lock. Biff Tannen wins. He's gonna go bang Marty's mom now. We the peoples. Right, what we got next? We get Kofi Fandango. Oh no, I forgot about Edge and Kane. The Rated R Superstar! Pew 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 pew! The following contest is I wish you could put in just that over extravagant pyro he had when he uh, first won the World Heavyweight Championship in 2007. Um, when he cashed in Money in the Bank and The Undertaker. Just like that first Raw when he came out with a world title and it just like had like 30 seconds of fucking pyro. It's completely over extravagant. It was awesome. Hey Daniel, what'd you miss? Uh, you didn't miss much. I'm doing universe mode for a bit and then I'm gonna be doing um, uh, career mode. But you have not missed really anything. You missed one match. Uh, you missed Jack Swagger basically killing Dean Ambrose. It's the corporate demon Kane. The libertarian corporate demon Kane. Here to make Edge vote for Ron Paul in 2016. Let's see. Edge. All right, let's do it. At seven feet tall and weighing more than 300 pounds, Kane is every bit the monster people make him out to be. Oh, he'll give you nightmares, that's for sure. Why did Windows jump from eight to ten? I have no idea. Oh, what a painful kick! Oh, pfft. Ah, ha, ha, ah, ha. Ah, it's so funny. Wah! Come on, Kane. Whoop! And the knuckles connect. Oof. And he dodges that one. Oh, look at me just facing into Jerry Lawler. We have become one. Hey, Jerry, you're not supposed to use terms like storyline. You're breaking kayfabe, bro. And he gets back in the ring. I don't know, maybe Jerry will finally get fired over that. Which I will not be too sad about. He gets back in the ring right now. Just trying to go his opponent into making a mistake here. Oh, man, is he fired up. And he gets back in. Damn it. Shall we say slightly volatile relationship with his half brother? 
What are you thinking? Do they still Fuck. get together for the holidays and family get togethers? Oh, yeah, right, Michael. How would you like to be a Ow. for that Thanksgiving dinner? Forget about the conversation. I don't even want to think about what the main course would be. D damn it. <laughs> Fuck. What the fuck? Why can't I do the spear? Is that a running finisher? Oh, fucking... Why is it... Why can't he just do his running spear? Guys, stop spamming the Illuminati in the chat! Over that diving spear. <laughs> sure. <laughs> I just speared him in the dick. Why not? Spear! 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 The actual spear this time. Done. Oh, we don't even get to see me spearing him in the dick. Well, that was a red box big moment. Yeah, Aiden, what the fuck, dude? You're slacking, brother. Yeah. Good thing he didn't fuck up that diving spear too bad, he might have broken his neck again. Then we wouldn't have gotten any more episodes of Haven. That spear missed worse than Fantastic Four? Wow, I don't think it was that bad. At least I made contact. Albeit with his dick. Dick Spear's best spear? That's right. Alright, now! It's Kofi Kingston and Fandango. Yeah, Kofi Kingston's music is going, but I'm still going to just pretend it's the New Day theme. I mean, I've got him in this New Day theme attire, or New Day attire anyway. New Day theme attire? What? Hey, come on, everybody. New Day rocks. 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 New Day rocks, new day rocks, new day rocks, new day rocks. All right. And how do you combat the power of positivity? With the power of memes. And whatever the fuck happened to Summer Rae's face? Seriously, I do not know what happened to Summer Rae's face, or Lana's face for that matter. Something got fucked up in the face scanning with those two. Anyway, here's Fandango. Fandango, who uh, in the actual WWE has not been having a swell time as of late. Yeah, remember when he turned face by breaking up with Rosa Mendez and we thought that was going to like lead to something? Like some sort of push, and it just didn't. Yeah, MJ's got the fucking song down. <laughs> she danced too hard and it fucked up her face. Her face couldn't handle the hot moves. It just started melting. Fun. Don't go. Hey, come on, guys. You're burning up TV time here. 
It's only a three hour show, god damn it. Oh, fu what the fuck? Seamus? No, I think he's feuding with Kofi Kingston. I guess that makes sense, but all right. Now, let's see. Kofi Kingston. Hey, we want some new day. Oh, fuck. Already taking him down. Fuck you. Fuck. Man, Counter Mania going fucking on tonight. Alright, here we go. Damn. Oh fuck, I almost hit the ref. Luckily, the ref is invincible. Oh shit. Flew over Neckbreaker, the greatest move in wrestling. Oh, how Kofi survived that is beyond me. It's miraculous, really. Let's see what Shams is up to. Fuck. Haha! <laughs> Alright, I got something on him. Back to Fondango. Oh shit! Flow over neck break or flow over DDT, the second greatest move in wrestling. Why are you trying to tap me out outside? Nope. Let's get back in the ring. Haha! <laughs> Got the count out win. The only true victories in wrestling are by count out. I did not skip those highlights. They were literally that short. What the shit? Yeah, come on, everybody. New day rocks. 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 New. New, New. Alright, we're done. I believe now it is time for Triple H versus Seth Rollins. Yup. Behold the quad. The quad of quads. On my knees, ow. Wow, wow. Really, though, I do like this theme for him. Triple H. Hunter Hearst Helmsley, the COO of the WWE. Okay. Seriously, Triple H. Alright, come on. Ah, oh, shit. I keep forgetting to give my CAWs based on real people their generic music back. In case I do any more, like, actual 2K15 videos. Dad, 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 dad. Dad, 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 
Oh, a oh, legit handshake. Huh. I've actually never seen that animation. Usually one of them goes for the handshake and then fucking kicks the other guy in the stomach. Yeah, I saw that MJ Dead Man. Uh, I'm honestly just glad that we can add superstar themes to the jukebox. <laughs> oh, Triple H. I gotta bury my own golden boy. The, the one thing I really hope we could do is add custom music to the game like we could in uh, 2K14. That's what I really want to do. Oh fuck, we both already have SIGs, what the fuck? Pelvic thrust. Come on, Rollins, get up. It's burial time. Am I seriously gonna get this already? Oh shit, no! He kicked out! Rollins, what the fuck are you doing? Stop shooting on me! Fuck you! Damn! Ow! Jerk! Would you stop? God damn! Fuck. No, 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 no. Not the rope guillotine. Oh, fuck. Fuck's sake, thank you. Teach you to fucking get in some offense and what was supposed to be a squash. You jerk. Right, let's try this again. Just be buried, Rollins. God damn it. It's over. Count to a hundred. What? Are you fucking shitting me right now? He kicked out of two pedigrees? What? What the shit? Rollins, what the fuck are you doing? Rollins is trying to make me look bad. Oh fuck, fuck, curb stop! Shit! Fuck you, I'll kick out of your finisher now. And so much for that respect we showed at the beginning of the match. I hate you now. Get your ass out of here. He's no selling like that guy we won't we no longer acknowledge. Yeah. Stevie Richards. Yeah, you know Stevie Richards, the real American. Oh, I can't use the sledgehammer? Oh, okay. I guess I gotta take out the ref! Shit. Haha! 
No, ref, you have to stay down so I can do heal shit. Oh, fucking... There. Okay, fuck! Seth! No, God damn it! No, JC, you're thinking of Stevie Richards. And no one else. Yeah, don't you remember WrestleMania 3 when Stevie Richards slammed Andre the Giant? Oh fuck, schoolboy! That was a rope break. Yeah, remember when Stevie Richards and Macho Man Randy Savage formed the Mega Powers? Yeah, that was a great moment. Okay. I was trying to keep the ref down long enough to get a shot on Rollins and I was going to pin him, but eh, we fucked up the finish. And of course, this isn't SmackDown, so we couldn't just retape it. <laughs> I'm going to laugh if they fucking handshake at the beginning of their match again next week. Oh, you tried to fucking kill the ref so you could hit me with a sledgehammer, but I respect you. Become the new tag team champions, right back, Soul. You squash him, they still wins. I know, why the fuck was he kicking out of all my pedigrees? Fuck. Fucking Ultimate Warrior Seth Rollins kicking out of the pedigree. Come on, everybody. He's got the whole world in his hands. He's got the whole wide world in his hands. These two motherfuckers have got to be pissed off. They lost their copper belts to Curtis Axel and Ryback. Thanks, I'm going to have nightmares tonight. <laughs> You're welcome. Right, let's see. It right, looks like I'm right back, so I may as well just start as Curtis. He's already in the ring. Yeah, Axelmania by like... Fucking Curtis Axel, still in the Royal Rumble, by the way. He was never eliminated. He's been there for like 200 days, I think. Oh, you know, yeah, if I have a Wyatt stat potato. Uh, I like Bray and Luke. Eric Rowan is, well, he's, he's there. He exists. Like, it was so funny to me on Monday Night Raw when they had the six man with, uh, uh, Reigns, Ambrose, and Orton versus, uh, Wyatt, Lu uh, Luke Harper, and Sheamus. Because I like to think that fucking Bray Wyatt is so used to having a redhead in the Wyatt family, he just doesn't care who it is. So he was like, hey, Harper, we need a third man for the six man. Go get Rowan. Uh, Rowan's injured. All right, fuck it. Go get Sheamus. It's the same thing, really. And then when they're getting ready for the match, why just keeps calling Seamus Rowan? Eventually he just goes, I'm not Rowan, you arse! Also, there's my terrific Irish accent. Fuck. Maybe I should focus on the match. What's going on with Axel? Uh, he hasn't been on TV since that brief run with Damian Sandow doing the Macho Man gimmick, and also since the whole Hogan racism thing came out. So... I think they're finding a way to try and bring him back as just Curtis Axel, probably. Ow! Fuck! 
Get off me! He saw that one coming. Ryback, help me! Fuck! Oh, the Rumble thing? Uh, Curtis Axel was going to be in the uh, 2015 World Rumble, but he never made it to the rank as Eric Rowan attacked him when he was making his entrance. So technically, he was never eliminated. So Curtis Axel for a while was doing this thing where he had like a timer on the screen of how long he was in the World Rumble. Because technically he was never eliminated, so. The big guy going up. Fuck! Damn it! Oh, fuck you, Harper. Oh, how could that backfire? I just fucking got on the top rope in front of my opponent. Am I the only one who hates the Wyatts? Uh, I don't know. How's everyone in the chat feel about the Wyatt family? I'm, I'm pretty, you know, hype about them, honestly. Fuck! A fucking backwards lucha. Me hook. Choke slam from Eric Rowan, what the fuck? Fuck you! Finish! It! Here we go! Set him up! Shell shock! Here we go. Fuck. Fuck. Hey, Amberin. Yeah, the Wyatt family being creepy, that's basically their whole thing. That is the gimmick. The Wyatt family are a bunch of creepy backwards hillbillies that follow a, a fucking enigmatic cult leader who may or may not be possessed by a demon. That's, that's their whole shtick. Yeah, everyone say hi to Amberin. She is my lady friend, and she is very cute and awesome and great. Fuck! I just got my face kicked off! Oh, now it feels... Now I know what Tim Donst feels like. Chikara references. Fuck! Oh, fuck. I don't know if I have the stamina to do my finisher right now. Come on. Get your stamina. Get your stamina right back. Damn it, right back. Right back, you have failed this city. <laughs> but I just need a little bit of stamina. Come on. Damn it. Fuck. No! Somebody wants back in this match. Oh, look at this. 
Axel, I got this. I'm doing my big guy thing. Fuck. Okay, maybe I don't got this. Help me, Axel. Never mind, I kicked out. No! Fuck! Oh, thank you, Axel. You're a good friend. Ow! There we go. Okay. Meat hook. He didn't need a GPS to find the mark. Hey, come on. Need sure stamina. I need like. stamina. Oh, no. Fuck! Oh man, I got my face kicked off again. Oh, thank you, Axel. Oh, you're such a good friend, Curtis. Right, here we go. Finally. For fuck's sake. Hey, Axel, if you want to help out, go knock Rowan off the fucking... Why is Rowan getting on the top rope? What the fuck? <laughs> Rowan just fucking randomly jumps off the top rope and fucking does a diving fist drop to Luke Harper. Why? <laughs> what the fuck? Why? And of course that leads to nothing because I'm just going to do shell shocked again. Damn it. Okay, pin Harper while, while Rowan's down. Yes! Oh, man, that was ridiculous. What the fuck was with that fucking Eric Rowan dive, though? I fucking hit that first shell shock, and he fucking dives off the top rope and does a diving fist drop to Luke Harper. Seriously, what the shit was that? Alright. Let's see if we get any news, and then we'll move on to uh, main event. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, game, at least you tried. <laughs> oh, fuck. Mm, gotta stretch my leg here. Mm. Right, there we go. We got two unread news items. Let's see. Champion Sheamus will face number one contender Kofi Kingston for the United States Championship, and ugh, excuse me, new tag team champions Right Baxel face former champions Luke Harper and Eric Rowan. Both teams trying to, uh, both teams vying for domination for their rematch. Will this feud ever end? Probably not. All right, let's see. Jimmy Uso versus Sheamus, Daniel Bryan versus Batista, and Sami Zayn versus John Cena on main event. We're in Nashville. Like, come on, everybody. When I say oos, y'all say oh. Oos. 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 All right.
This shameful thing. You've lost your head. Careless man, you can wind up dead. You wear your sin like it's some kind of pride. Too many lies. Too many lies. Whoa. You like that rendition? I worked super hard on it. Jimmy Uso. Oh, Lord. Exactly, MJ Dead Man. Are you not entertained? Come on, Seamus, get up! Fuck! Ow! Oos! The fuck off me, Seamus. There we go. Oos. Get the fuck out of my ring. Damn it. Yeah! Damn it! Do I not have the outside dive? How the. Oh, I do have outside dive. Fucking not even timing it right, probably. It looks like Jimmy Uso has got the momentum. When it comes to skills in the ring, Jimmy Uso possesses. The yeah! <laughs> yeah, just keep hitting up, Seamus, so I can fucking do diving sentons on you. Fuck! Oh shit, I don't know how he picked up on my plan. All I've been doing is the same move over and over. Oh god, no! Oh! oh fucking powerbomb on the outside! Yeah! Fuck! That's enough. Oos. I'm gonna get the count out victory. Damn. He's gonna catch her with a dive as he was trying to get back in. No. Can I get it from this far? He's not exactly. Whoa. Nope. <laughs> okay, for real this side. There we go. I just had to see if I could have gotten the superfly splash from that far back. The answer is no. And the fucked up fucking splash ended up being one of the highlights. Amazing. <laughs> we had to reshow the botch. Even though Seamus stayed down for the actual one and the botch led to nothing. Here is your winner, 
Ah, uh, incredible. Oos. Daniel Bryan versus Batista. All right, see you, Raven Streak. Thanks for coming out. Really appreciate it. All right, here we go. The YAB movement in full effect in Nashville. Come on, everybody. Yeah, 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 yeah. New York Times best-selling author, uh, best-selling author, what? <laughs> New York Times best-selling author Daniel Bryan making his way to the ring to fight movie star Dave Batista. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is in from the authority. The winner of this match gets to play Drax the Destroyer in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Here comes Batista. The brass body. Yeah. Spotlight on Batista. Pew 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 pew. Deal with it. Batista coming out to tell Daniel Bryan to deal with the fact that he is not going to be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Let's see. Rando says, I'm Batista. Deal with it. Fuck you. No. And it's Batista with a reversal. Oh, what a painful kick. Now it's Batista trying to build momentum. And that's a stiff kick. I think Daniel Bryan's personal life is at a major impact. Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck? Random Morgan appearance! What? Shit! Once again, on main event, Randy Orton comes out and attacks somebody for absolutely no discernible reason. And of course, I lose like half of my health because of that. What the fuck? And as always, with all these random Orton attacks on main event, it will never be followed up on. Ever, ever, ever. Appearances based on who you choose? Uh, no, they're like based on something with how universe builds rivalries and uh, storylines. 
But the weird thing is the fucking random, uh, the Randy Orton attacks are never followed up on. He just comes up and fucking attacks people either during or after a match every week on main events, and we never get any follow through on it. Spear! 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 Batista bite! It's over! Definitely not the rings of Saturn! Ah! Damn it, I'm not close enough. Fuck! Yeah. Fuck! That's it! Pin off the submission! No! Fuck! Rapid kicks to chest! Yeah! 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 Whoa! Yeah! Oh, my head is so fucked. My head is so fucked. No! Fuck you! Deal with it! No! Oh man. Spear. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Batista bomb. Come on, Batista. Crawl to the cover, or just get up, whatever. Into the cover. Batista wins. Deal with it. Batista will be in Guardians of the Galaxy 2. Meanwhile, Daniel Bryan will have to be in the Chaperone 2. A fate worse than death. Oh, the music just cut off. Something's gonna happen. What in the fuck? Oh shit! Triple H! Sneak attack! Heal tactics! Triple H! Triple the heal! Heal, heal, heal tactics! <laughs> okay! <laughs> Fucking sure. And finally, Sami Zayn versus John Cena. Come on, everybody. Whoa. Whoa. Let's go. Let's hope Sami doesn't injure his shoulder hyping up the crowd again. <laughs> That's right, MJ, that man. Hashtag heel, heel, heel tactics. Triple H is triple the heel. Da 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 da. Born NXT champion, Sami Zayn. It's like evolution all over again. Yeah, except Randy's still at Triple H when they're attacking Batista. Here comes the man of a thousand t-shirts. Yabba dabba doo! John Cena hoping that nobody's, uh, nobody's gonna break his nose again in this match. Yeah, I think honestly that's what happened. He fucking 
he had just come back with a shoulder injury not too long ago, and um, I think he strained his arms, fucking doing the fucking hyping up the crowd thing on his entrance. And then it didn't help that uh, he kind of landed weird on that spin-out powerbomb from uh, John Cena early on in the match. Hey, Yolo Cash. Right, let's go. Oh shit, John Cena. And this one should blow the roof off the house. Fuck. A swift kick. John Cena with the offense. Turn it around. It's Sami Zayn with the reversal. Drop kick. Oh, it's a drop kick from Cena. I've never seen it. I've never seen him anything. I've never seen him anything. That's a sentence. Fuck. Remember when John Cena started doing drop kicks in like 2010? The announcers would just lose their shit every time. Oh, it's a drop kick from Cena. I've never seen him do that before. Oh my god. Yeah, I don't think Abby's here, Sniffer King. I think you're good. Damn. That's all right, that potato. If you gotta go, you gotta go. Thanks for coming out. You cannot visually comprehend me. Oh, he just jacked off in his face. Seriously, that's what the five knuckle shuffle is. It's euphemism for masturbation. Which makes me really wonder why he didn't have to change the name of that when WWE uh, went PG. And he had to change the FU and the STFU. It's one of the great mysteries of wrestling. Well, so much for that match. <laughs> The only highlight was the fucking attitude adjustment. That's how short that was. Oh, what the fuck is happening in John Cena's face? Do you see the glitches in his cheeks? Yeah, his face is kind of glitching out there. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, John Cena is having some technical difficulties. Sorry, I had to fucking re-plug in my keyboard. I don't know why it's not fucking working. I try to type something on Twitter, but my fucking keyboard is not one to acknowledge that it's on. And it's just... Ugh. Come on. Oh, you piece of crap. Really? Hey, there we go. Let's move on to SmackDown. Sheamus versus Mark Henry in the opener, followed by AJ Lee versus Summer Rae. At least it's something different than Naomi. Santino versus Kevin Owens. Big Show versus Dean Ambrose. And Simon Gotch versus Alberto Del Rio. Let's do it.
Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Whoa, hey. Asses will be kicked and wigs will be split in this match. Mark Henry making his way to the ring, hoping that he's not going to be putting any more dumb storylines like the whole giving birth to a hand thing with Mae Young. Because seriously, what the fuck was that? That was just... That was just... This weird... Like, I still don't know where they were... What drugs were they on when they came up with that, really? Oh, there's Abby. Sniffer King, you're dead now. You are dead now, Sniffer King. Abby has arrived to defend the honor of her senpai. No, a hand, Sniffler King. A hand. Let's do it. Oh no, Silver, there's no hiding from the wrath of Abby. You badmouthed her bay. You badmouthed her senpai. Yeah, get the sirens going, yellow cash. Cesaro's theme has started. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. True that Seamus was an actor in Ireland before he got there? Dude, I had to see what fucking show Seamus was on. Oh, fuck. We both picked the two slowest fucking animations ever we both missed. Oh, God. Jerk. Get back in the ring, get back in the ring! Fuck. Ow. Nash! Kevin Nash is not in this match, Michael Cole. What the fuck? Big Daddy Cool, Mark Henry. <laughs> Mark Henry's gonna take down this vanilla midget Sheamus. Oh, fuck. Fuck, what is with these DDTs now, though? Hug. Ah, shit. World's strongest slam. The win. 
And here's some highlights from the matchup. <laughs> JC, don't don't incur her wrath. Don't do it, man. Don't do it. Here is your winner. Now it's time for the Divas match. As AJ Lee takes on Summer Rae. The following Divas it is time to light it up with the Divas Champion. The longest reigning Divas Champion, at least until Nikki Bella beats her reign. Which is probably going to happen. Let's, let's just all accept that together. <laughs> Fuck, Abby is losing her shit in the chat right now. Guys, stop incurring her wrath. It's not a wise thing to do. Here comes Summer Rae. Star of the Marine Home Front on DVD and Blu-ray with The Miz. I thought I had that. Collar and elbow battling for control. Summer Ray going for it. And there's the Hurricane Rana. The shoulders are down. Summer and she gets her shoulder up. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh. He who shall not be named. Are you talking about Hulk Hogan? Because I think you mean Stevie Richards. And what a reversal from AJ Lee. Good night. One to the top. I risk. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> what? Uh, okay. Sure. Just completely missed that sent on. Watch it. Oh, now you're all out of the way. Although I don't think it would have hit it anyway. Abby. Which one's a shining wizard? All right, I have to be holding the directional button. Look at those eyes. Oh yeah, this could be big. We know what she's setting up here, Cole. Shining wizard. My best friend, the great Muda, taught me that one. That should do it right there. Oh fuck! How dare you kick out of my finisher? How dare you? How dare you? Oh, 
Oh no, god damn it. Ow. AJ Lee will take on anybody that thinks they can get in the ring and match her abilities. She'll devise a strategy to annihilate and humiliate them. Attack them anytime and provide her own commentary while doing it. The quick reversal there by Summer Rae. She tosses her opponent over the top rope. Yeah! Oh, here we go. Suplex onto the chair. Are we moments away from a count out? Now back to the ring. And AJ Lee heads up for the top rope. No! Oh, she does it. Oh, that's gotta hurt. Fuck you. Big, how awesome is that? Well, I could watch those all day. I don't do them, but I like to watch them. Sometimes when you go high risk, you crash and burn. Boom! Has the ref sold after the fucking move is already over? AJ Lee wins. Let's light it up, indeed. Oh, by the way, the referee just didn't give a shit about me hitting a suplex onto a chair. What a fucking squash. Oh, nice. Raven Streak, the Marauder, followed me. Cool. Let's follow me before they left. Nice. Anyway, it's time for Kevin Owens versus Santino Morella. I really hope the rando doesn't make me be Santino. I'm pretty sure I didn't give Kevin Owens his music back either. Nope. Da na na da na na da na na da na na da na da da na na da da na da 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 bow ba na 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 da na 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 da na da na da da na na da na da 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 na da 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 na da 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 na da 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 na da 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 na da 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 na 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 da 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 na 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 da 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 Oh fuck, here we go. Oh shit! We got a zebra down! Yes! I get to be Kevin Owens! Heel tactics! Fuck off, Santino! God damn it, you piece of shit! What the fuck? 
The chair hit the ref? What the fuck? Oh, that's bullshit. The fucking chair, like, nicked the ref on the way down, and so it counted as a DQ. Even though he shouldn't be able to call for the bell while he was unconscious. Great. Well, it's the big show. I keep forgetting every time I do Universe Mode that Big Show is the fucking world champion. But then I remember he just shit-canned Dean Ambrose in their title match. Cause we're gonna have that fucking cruiserweight be the world champion, you kidding me? That cruiserweight can cruiserweight, brother. I think he gave Pink Hair too much shit? No, I don't think I gave it enough shit. That was a dark period in my life, and I resent you for bringing that up. And now here comes Dean Ambrose. Yeah, we've already seen his entrance. <laughs> oh, fuck, I'm a big show. The man standing before you stands fuck on you! Seem like a rather bright period. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you, JC. Oh god. Oh, fuck! Full over neck breaker, the greatest move in wrestling! Nice, well placed kick to the ribs. Big Show easily counters that. What a display. Oh, yeah, Big Show's gotta be pissed. He said Dean Ambrose with like five weapons of mass destruction and he hasn't fucking sold any of them. Oh, fuck! Full over neck breaker again! Dean Ambrose is just spamming the greatest move in wrestling because it's the only way he can beat the Big Show. thing he did that one time. Here we go. I'm probably gonna make you sell this punch, motherfucker. Boom! Oh, it busted him open! Ah! Oh no, I think some hooligan spray ketchup on Dean Ambrose's face! Uh, fucking excuse me, Sniffer King, but the greatest move in wrestling is the flow over neck breaker. We've established this. Come on, keep up. Well, let's take a look at some of those highlights. You have to like this display. Yeah, I just knocked you the fuck out and busted you open with a, a fucking knockout punch. Shake my hand. Also, why is the heel offering the baby face a handshake? I don't know. Oh, by the way, the world champion is not in the main event because fuck you.
Alberto Del Rio versus Simon Gotch just had to be the main. It had to be. Yeah, you would say it's the RKO Yellow Cash. Alberto El Patron! Man who legitimately hates the original Sin Cara. Who is known now as Mestizes. Or some bullshit like that. Yeah, apparently Alberto Del Rio and fucking original Sin Cara have like some legit beef. Because at one point, uh... I think it was in Mexico. Alberto Del Rio was like pissed off at Mestizas about something and he went to go confront him, but then like Mestizas was drunk and then somebody from his entourage pulled out a gun or something. This whole hectic, crazy mess. Uh, this wasn't the car entrance, JC Shades. This is, uh, I think this is actually a. Uh, 2014 Alberto Del Rio. I think one of the earlier Albertos in this game had the car. Probably 2011 or 2012. And here comes Simon Gotch. A man with a mustache made of dreams, one half of the vaude villains. Even though we have yet to see his part of Aiden English in this universe, I think. I really don't think we've seen Aiden English in this universe at all. And I'm Alberto. Fuck. Damn it. Man, just fucking kicking the shit out of Simon Gotch, man. Leg kicks all day, every day. Ah, oh, kicked him right in the butt. The most dangerous place to kick a man. Just hit all the kicks to the butt. Fuck. Oh shit, Michinoku driver. Fuck. And I just realized I have not worked his arm at all. <laughs> so let me try and do that a little bit here. He's putting those educated feet to good use. Fuck off. Alberto Del Rio's WWE impact in the summer of 2010 made an immediate impact on SmackDown. A descendant of Mexican royalty. Del Rio's WWE triumphs include being a WWE champion, a world heavyweight champion, winning the 2011 Royal Rumble, and he was Mr. Money in the Bank. Nope. Rio gathering attention in a hurry. Do I have the quarter super kicks a uh, fucking... Oh no, it's... Yeah, I do. Uh, must have been too close or some bullshit. Oh well. Let me just do the corner step up in Zagari. Fuck! The uppercut connects. You hear how his leg connected? He drops the elbow. Oh fuck, German suplex! Sammy got shaking me a suplex city. Oh fuck, he's gonna come back. No! Fuck, 
your comeback. Fuck your comeback. Also, fuck your elbow. You just stop it inward. Damn. Oh fuck! What the fuck? Try to do my own cross arm breaker to me! How dare you! How fucking dare you! You piece of shit! You piece of shit! Fuck you! I'm gonna show you how to do a cross arm breaker! Oh, of course you're in the ropes. Fucking dare you, Simon! TV, this is Friday Night SmackDown. That's devastating. The momentum in this match has once again changed in favor of El Porto Del Rio. Oh, Here we go. Right Hit that super kick. I gotta get some. I gotta get some fucking stamina so I can do the cross arm breaker. Come on, Gotch. Get your ass up. Fuck you. Yeah, that'll teach you to try to use my submission on me. Fuck you. I got a new follower on Twitch. Five by five. Thanks for following. Yeah, fuck you, Simon Gotch. Trying to steal my fucking finisher. I'm the cross arm breaker guy. And thus, Alberto Del Rio wins a hard fought match. Uh oh. What the fuck? Natalia? Hey, Kobe669, welcome to the stream. How you doing? Also, why is Natalia applauding Alberto Del Rio? I'm assuming that's going to lead to something, but I'm not holding my breath. 